all right what's going on you fam were you didn't hear so it seems like in this drought we call legends we got a little drizzle of content uh in the form of the new free trunks and we got some summons here uh so it looks like a legends re not really legends return but sort of a banner themed thingy mobara has returned and look goku vegeta are back we don't know how much z power this is but uh got some pretty decent lfs i wouldn't say broly has aged too too well but uh gojira blue still good so is goku vegeta uh we got a little snapshot here of the background and i'm sure we all know what this is from the dragon ball super movie pretty damn exciting but it kind of throws everything for a whirl here um, we know that at this point in time, we should have got something for the new, uh, superhero movie, Dragon Ball Super, superhero, but that got delayed, which obviously threw a wrench in the mix here for Legends, so their content schedule is definitely up in the air, but, uh, we get a little bit of detail here. Next is the event to get our friend trunks let's go ahead and take a look at what this boy can do i actually have high hopes for this trunks mainly because legends has nailed it when it comes to these free characters i'm not sure what it is but someone decided hey i i think we should you know open the floodgates and make them a little bit better than what they are and they certainly have so here's his cool little art his main ability super saiyan trunks team as of me recording this part right now, we don't know his type. So if I end up getting stats and type, I'll leave it in the pinned comment section below. <coughs> but main ability, 50 key, randomly uh, draws four new cards, and he disregards cover change. A AKA sort of like the, a holy grail main ability, if you will. You get a bunch of cards, key, and you don't care about cover change. Easily one of the strongest mechanics in the game. So right out the gate, it looks like Trump's, Trunks is pretty damn good. Now do keep in mind that this is the Trunks that first gets to meet Goku, Yardrak Goku. So hopefully he has some sort of LOE passive, because it would be nice to keep that tag in check a little bit. Let's see. <clears throat> and just as I say that, passive number one. 25% strike damage inflicted against tag Lineage of Evil. They're sort of the... Uh, the essence and the fact that he is free where as opposed to this being just uh, damage in general they decided uh, to restrict it to strike but that's okay and then the plaza formal effects to self when this character enters the battlefield 70 percent of damage inflicted which cannot be stacked unfortunate that it can be canceled though and reduced damage received by 40 percent not bad the following effects occur when enemy switches characters while this character is on the field short and ally sub count whoa <clears throat> that's gonna feed pretty damn well with his main ability don't care about cover change do a bunch of combos your opponent is bound to switch one or two times so that's really good reduce damage received by 20 percent for 10 timer counts which can be stacked which means that if your opponent switches twice and you lose combo i guess you could technically tank 80 percent of the damage you're about to receive for i don't know a couple timer counts depends on when your combo ends randomly draws one new card when you have three or fewer cards so Trunks punishes you for playing defensive then. That is such a good main ability and first passive, are you kidding me? Four new cards, don't care about cover change. Punish your opponent if they decide to swap out. And if they do, you draw some more cards. That's sick. And then shorten own sub count by one every time another battle member is hit with an enemy strike blast or special move. So just like our friend LF Green Vegeta, it looks like Trunks is able to come in here and uh, Hold his own. Do keep in mind though, if you if your uh, favorite unit is getting beaten up and then Trunks can swap in, most of the time your opponent will swap out to another character in order to get uh, you know a type advantage. Everyone likes that. Trunks is gonna get the reduced damage received and the sub count reduction again. So technically, if you got a cover change unit or an insurance unit or instant transmission unit, I don't know. That's pretty good. Trunks is looking pretty good already. Now his next passive. Plaza Formal Effects to self every time this character uses an Arts card. 20% damage inflicted activates three times, resets every time he leaves. Wow! 130% damage inflicted if Trunks lands three cards. Minus three to strike and blast Arts cost. Yeah, okay, that's something... <clears throat> that's something I was wondering. Trunks just being able to combo like this and punishing your opponent for playing uh, defensively. It'd be nice to have some card reduction, and here it is. 
effect on activation counts reset when character switches. Yes, there's the uh, little free bit of the character. It's like they design them, um, you know, to be like a traditional normal character, and then they find areas where they can pull back a little bit here. It's like, oh, you know, instead of just 25% dam uh, damage in general, make it strike. Oh, you know, his uh, the key he restores, instead of this, make it this. They, they find ways to sort of tailor them back a little bit, because they're like, ah, he's free, don't make him too, too good. And then he gets a nice little sustained damage cut effect, which is very helpful, because everyone has some sort of form of, you know, damage reduction. Uh, applies the formal effects to allies when the... Wow, he has death buffs, too? Restore health by 20% with a 30% damage inflicted buff. The, depending on this Trunks' uh, typing, he might actually be core for some of his teams. I'm not even kidding. Seems crazy, but a unit that gets four fast cards stacks up damage like this, punishes you for playing defensively with death buffs, tends to be part of your core lineup. I wouldn't be surprised. That's the, you know, that's a one-way ticket to a fast rush. Uh, his blue card, major impact. So again, that little free aspect there. There's the asterisk. The multiplier is only major, but that's okay. You cancel enemy, enemy attribute upgrades on hit, which is nice. Green card, randomly draw one new card. Start own key by 30 with a 20% to damage inflicted buff. I'm surprised this isn't just strike damage. That's usually what they do. Uh, we also have this hyperdimensional co op, and interesting that we're fighting against an android. Just like the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie theme, it was supposed to be, you know, good old hybrids against androids, and here we got a co op stage against androids. That's a bit of a shame, but. Uh, it is what it is. This is that's just the schedule that they have. All right, it looks like we got some more information as I was recording. Here is Trunks' stat spread and typing. So he's going to be yellow. He's going to be, you know, 250k strike, 245 blast, 160s for strike and blast defense, which is actually not that bad. Um, the only reason why I'm rounding up is just because people have different titles and whatnot, so your stats go up a couple thousand, but it's actually not that bad. The stats really aren't that bad, especially for a unit with, you know, uh, a possible 80% reduced damage received, nearing 170k. That really isn't that bad. But here's where it gets crazy. There's a new Platinum equipment that you can farm. Um, don't really know who it is, though, but thank you, Professor Sensei, for sharing the image here. Looking pretty good. I would imagine that this is for Android Saga, so Android units get a nice little buff. We also have a new Platinum equipment for LF Cell, which is ridiculous. Look at this. 25%, up to 25% for both defenses, 25% for the key recovery and critical, his base strike, blast, uh, damage inflicted, health restore, and even crazier is a third slot adjusting the unique gauge. That's nuts. That's a first. I guess um, LF Cell sort of served as the initial uh, template for how the unique gauge was going to work for certain characters, you know, in terms of charging. And, you know, a Super Saiyan Blue Cow can't just getting it lightning quick. Uh, they decided that, hey, you know, that, you know, that, that beta character we kind of gave this initial uh, version of, we should probably revisit that guy. And 35% to own unique gauge when battle starts is nuts. So you pop in the fight. 40% of it pretty much done right out the gate. 35% of it pretty much done right out the gate. So it's going to be a lot easier for you to finish up the unique gauge. And of course, a 15% to max HP buff. So overall, pretty damn loony, I will say. Oh, and I guess then finally we have this new Awakened Equip, which I'm going to assume is very similar to some of the other equips that we have. You know, the Super Saiyan ones where it's like special move or strike and a little bit of key, a key recovery and a defense or whatever. But uh, anyways, LF Cell Platinum Equipment, a new Trunks that looks pretty good, and some new Platinum Equipments for Android Saga. What do you guys think? Let me know <coughs> in, the, in the comments section down below. Uh, this is pretty exciting, but it's kind of crazy to me that Cell got this. Remember, Cell has the future tag. This guy can be ran with future Gohan and some other unit that would support him really well. I'm shocked to see him get such a good equip, but... Uh, it is what it is. Let me know in the comment section below how you feel. But until next time, peace.